Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Today I wanted to go over how to fix a wobbly build plate. Uh, if you look down here, you can see that this build plate is kind of wobbly or really wobbly right now. Uh, it got knocked a little bit by my kids, so I just want to do a quick video show you how to fix that. So before we get into that, let's talk about why you need to fix this. So what it will do when this is moving back and forth, you'll get uh, shifts, which can cause ghosting and uh, sometimes layer offset. And then it's also going to be more difficult to level the build plate. The process isn't difficult at all. You just need a couple tools and about five minutes. Uh, here I've got an Allen wrench that came with the set. And then if you still have the actual wrench that came with the set, you can use that. Uh, I couldn't find it, so I just grabbed a replacement here. Uh, but it's an eight millimeter wrench you're going to need. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we do, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll really help us out. Thanks. All right, now that we got a close up of the build plate, let's go ahead and kind of show you what's going on here. Uh, it got knocked pretty hard by one of my kids. So now if I'm moving this around, you can see it's kind of shifting. And as it goes back and forth, it's gonna shift as well. Um, so I think we'll be able to fix it by just, uh, just uh, tightening the bolt underneath it. But if it ends up not fixing the issue I have, at least it'll walk you through the process and how to actually fix the wobbly part of the build plate. Um, so let's go ahead and flip this thing on the side and get started. I like to lean it on the left side if you're looking at it from the back or the right if you're looking at it from the front or just the side with the power supply. Uh, you can get a decent flat surface. Um, every other angle you're going or working with, you're going to have stepper motors or something else in the way. So for me, I've always found the easiest side is going to be the side of the power supply. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we have our four wheels here. One, two, three, four. We just got to make sure that they're not loose and moving back and forth which it looks like a couple of these are. Um, it's also important that if you're just setting up this for the first time or any printer for the first time really, that you go through and make sure that they're tightened down appropriately. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the tools here. Like I mentioned, you're gonna need the Allen wrench that came with the printer, which is this guy, and then a uh, wrench. Uh, this is eight millimeters. Uh, like I said, I couldn't find the one that actually came with the printer. It's around here somewhere, but this works just fine. All right, so can't quite show you this part, but the actual nut is on the top side of the bracket. So you got to actually put the wrench on the top side, and then you'll use the Allen wrench here on the bottom side to actually tighten it. Um, I'm, it's difficult to get this in here in place, so I just kind of get it aligned and hold it and then just do the tightening from this side. All right, so we got a nice little snug turn there. All right, and then you don't wanna over tighten it because if you start to um, dig into the wheel, what that's gonna do when it's printing is you're gonna get little bumps, which can cause some um, random lines on the print or uh, extra blobs. I can show you an example of a bad one here. I'll add it to the printer. Or sorry, I'll add it to the video real quick. All right, so let's tighten this a tad more. All right, so that one seems okay. It's snug, but not too tight. We might have to go back and adjust it again. But now we'll do this one. All right, same thing here. Um, we're still getting a decent bit of movement. So let's take a look at the other side. Um, all right, while I'm doing this, I did want to make a note here to be careful. Uh, we have our wires coming up to the heating element here and the actual thermostat. You don't want to knock those out. Uh, it could cause issues with the actual uh, heating of the bill plate. And if you mess up the thermostat, you could potentially have issues with uh, the temperature not being accurate or just running away. And the default firmware on the Ender doesn't have any type of uh, temperature runaway protection, uh, which is gonna be why I'm upgrading it to Merlin. So just keep an eye on that. Just be careful working around this. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this side. Yeah, 
sometimes you gotta fuss with it a little bit here. guy then let's go from the back here to try to get to this one it would be a little bit easier if I wasn't trying to show you guys um, I'm kind of fighting because of the angles here all right so we're connected and all right we got a little bit of a turn there too now let's take a look here We still have some give. Um, it's looking like it might be from this wheel. So let me try to tighten that again. I might have to uh, use a little bit more torque. I think that's good now. Let's go ahead and flip it up and see how it works. Yeah, that's much better. Um, might need to adjust this piece again just a tad bit more, but I think overall it'll be usable at this point. Um, one thing you're going to want to do once you make the adjustments is just go back and forth with this a little bit. Make sure that as you're um, doing that nothing is catching and that it's going smooth if you're hitting any type of stops or if you feel like a random jerk or bump you're going to want to try to adjust that or figure out what the cause is because that will impact the print significantly all right guys that's the process to fix a wobbly build plate as you can see it wasn't difficult at all it only took about five minutes uh, maybe less and you can get back to printing. I would recommend you check to make sure the build plate is stable every time you go to level the printer. So probably every three to five prints, unless you have an auto bed level kit, and then you'll wanna check it maybe every five to 10 prints. Just go through and adjust, just make sure it's not moving and that it's stable. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. It'll help us out. Thanks, talk to you next time.